Hi, this is Jeff. In this video I'm going to show you how to edit the uh, photo frame mockups. So I'm just going to click on open and uh, select the mockup template for the picture frame. Uh, these are really simple to use. Basically they use a simple smart object. Um, before I double click on this I'm going to go and open the image that I want to use to frame. So I have this open. I'm going to select uh, Control A to select all, and then Control C to copy that. Go back to the template, and then you're going to put your image in where it says your work. Basically, just double click the icon, and then paste your image in. Just click OK if the um, if these aren't matching. I'm going to zoom out click control T to resize the image then I'm going to click enter to save those changes <clears throat> then all you have to do is click uh, control S to save it and then go back to your image and then it's um, placed inside your frame um, if you want to play around with the color of the frame or the background color um, you basically want to click on these uh, layers. Um, you can turn off the <clears throat> the top one if you want. Makes it a little bit more clear. Um, if you want to change the color of the frame, click on the frame layer. And then you can select if you want it to be natural wood or if you want it, the frame to be black. Or if you want the frame to be white, just leave uh, the white layers selected. You can of course change the background color if you want. There's three in here now but if you can obviously create a new layer and drop in a different color if you want. The inside frame you can change as well. So that one looks kind of nice. And then basically after you've done those changes that you want made, um, you can either resize it by clicking on image size. Um, it's at 300 dpi now and 2000 pixels wide. Um, if I'm going to save this for the web and maybe show this to a client to entice them to buy uh, uh, prints already in a frame, then I'm going to save this for the web. So go to File and then Save for Web. And then select something that will fit inside your blog post. Say 800 pixels wide is a good place to start. Um, if it's at 800 pixels wide, it's easier to resize this if you use uh, WordPress. Um, you always want to start with an image that's larger than uh, than what you need because it's easier to resize something down than you know to re you know resize it up. So you can change this to whatever, um, really whatever you want, depending on how it's going to look. Um, it's at 57k right now, and high is you know a good place to be. It can even be at medium if you wanted to. Still looks good. Obviously smaller file sizes are better, but you need to make sure that this obviously looks as good as it can with no weird pixelation. And then just save that to your desktop and then you'll be able to upload that to your site. Um, and that's basically about it. Um, hope that helps you. Alright, thanks.